just while that one plays on screen, no doubt. And maybe you're watching me fiddle around with this device right now. If I can... Hey guys, and welcome back. And today I wanna to answer a very, very simple question. I wanna talk about this QNAP adapter. I wanna talk about the 5GBE adapter they've just released at 5 gigabit ethernet to USB. Now I've already done an unboxing of this and I've already done a bunch of speed tests and stuff that I'm gonna show you in the very near future. But today I want to talk about its compatibility with Synology NAS. Now Synology NAS, it's one of the things you guys first asked when I talked about this adapter, whether it will be supported. And as you can probably tell from the length of this video, it's gonna be a no. One of the main reasons this adapter isn't supported is because of USB and the way Synology interprets connected devices. Now, straight away, I've already done some testing prior to this video, and I can tell you right now, this adapter isn't supported. However, there are certain indications that this may not be the case going forward forever, and if things do change, I'll be the first to let you know. So, first and foremost, it's worth mentioning I've actually tried other adapters in the past. This is a StarTech adapter, it's a 1GBE to USB adapter, which is a tremendous waste when you think about it. USB 3 there, 5 gigabit ethernet to 1GBE, but it is quite an old uh, product. And I tried connecting this in the past to a Synology NAS with no success. And I thought maybe with this newer generation of Aquantia chips being appreciated and utilized by Synology in such devices as their uh, 10 GBE network card, that maybe we'd see some support. So earlier on, I connected this device to the Synology NAS that you can see there on screen. Hopefully the recording I did earlier on should be there for you to see. Now, once you connect this device, and I'm gonna do it again here, just while that one plays on screen, no doubt, and maybe you're watching me fiddle around with this device right now, if I can find that, find those USB ports without climbing over the device. Once you connect this adapter, the light on this, and I don't know how well you can make that out on camera, hopefully the recording from earlier showed that, a green light does appear on one of the gigabit lights on the LEDs on that device. Now, if you connect it to a switch, as I have here, and again, I'm sure the earlier recording showed this, that light, that first light stays on, but the second one for network activity does not. Now, uh, the Synology's user interface here on screen, and I'm using the DS620 Slim with DSM, once I went into the control panel, and then went into the network configuration settings, it didn't show me any other new ports. So there's no new port that's been recognized by this device. In the network interface, we're still only seeing that original ethernet port that we connected earlier on. But if we go further down, there's kind of other stuff there that's always been stuff that's been added before, but unfortunately, there's still no access via that new ethernet port we've introduced with USB 3, the USB 3 to 5 GBE. However, once I connected this device to it, and hopefully this is what you see on screen now, you will see that this adapter, the StarTech one, the 1GBE to USB 3, didn't even give me a green light, which when I tried it in the past, it still didn't give me green lights then, but it was the fact that the power was still being recognized on this device, and that's without the LAN cable connected. So again, straight away, it is a disappointment, the adapter doesn't work with Synology NAS insofar as connecting it via one of the USB ports on that device. If you are hoping for that to be the case, I'm afraid not. But what I will say is that that device did at least get the power going through it and recognized that it was connected to something with that green light. Now the green lights on gigabit adapters mean lots of different things and I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments, a simple Google will tell us all. But it's worth mentioning that one of the main reasons for this is that Synology themselves, although they do support um, USB Wi-Fi dongles, there's nothing in their kernel, their OS, as from what I could see, that it supported USB to LAN adapters. This wouldn't be the first time we've seen this. Mobile phones have got a very patchy past of this, and it's something that has to be enabled at a software kernel level, which means it's not impossible that this adapter might work later on. Maybe Synology release, release their own version of this adapter, or you know, one of the products from a company like Sonnet, who we have seen them talk with in the past, with such adapters as the Thunderbolt to 10 GBE, be supported by their range. Now, it's not the end of the world. You, this does allow you to work in both directions. So if you wanted to utilize, for example, a 10 gigabit ethernet NAS utilizing a 10 GBE upgrade card, there's nothing stopping you utilizing this 
in another way. So if I go in here, there's nothing stopping you utilizing the Synology's 10GB Ethernet card, getting this card inside a PCI enabled Synology NAS, popping that inside to get 10GBE. And although you are going to access via 10GBE, there's nothing stopping you utilizing this on a PC, Mac, or Linux system to connect to that 10GBE NAS with at least 5 gigabit Ethernet. I'm going to wrap things up here. I'm sorry if I disappointed you guys with the fact this isn't compatible, but I will check this and recheck it over time because there's a history of some of these devices that we've utilized from QNAP, from TrendNet, from TP-Link, from other brands that sometimes work with the Synology and then later on a switch is done and then all of a sudden they work. So I will continuously check whether this still works. So if you're watching this video in the future, send me a comment and just remind me to check this again. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I've got lots of tests going forward, and of course, loads of tests using this little bad boy here. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.